Hello and welcome to take two of XCOM 2, even longer war. I'm going in blind, having played a lot of XCOM 1, a lot of XCOM long war, and basically just the screen time on long war 2, and I've had one mission in XCOM 2 without long war 2, I was quite late to bang in, so it's going to lead to me being a bit more stretched, a bit more drawn out, I've already... Um, directed that I'm going to be going commander um, obviously keep subtitles on because there's no reason not to and I am going to be using Iron Man and sticking with it so push comes to shove Excitement continues to... just skipping that because don't need cutscenes So Operation Gate Crasher seems to be always be the first mission um, in Delhi, aka Knife City. Um, it's not Knife Crime, it's just it's the best way, you can get the best colour lift going. So, yeah. Name sounds a lot more edgy than it is. The lights just came on. I don't know what that means. Have we still got the torches up, the lights come back again? Okay, that's key to launch. Now, there's a mix here of random, automatically generated guys, and a few presets. Uh, the, the presets should stick out. So, first mission, as it was last time, the, the, with the awful sound, this went very badly. So, okay, I've got Clint Eastwood, um, uh, Carrie Marshall's generic, Daniel Matthews' generic, Vladimir, oh, Vladimir Putin's here, good. Um, Ricardo Lazo. Vladimir Solkov, who is a uh, um, oops, I've got yeah. One of the mods I've got is the Overwatch Hall at Sol Teague. I think I have pronounced it. It's from uh, Battlestar Galactica. So just basically the two old men leading up front with Vladimir Putin. So. I know I'm in a bottom, because this red line always pops up when you kind of try and go down further. So I've got red line here, red on here. I'm in a bottom corner, so I might as well just go straight up. And yeah, it could lead to me getting flanked a bit, but. No, people can't run around each other, so. Moving to designated position. Now, everyone seems to be starting with a single flash and a single. Frag. Well, jumping through windows is bad, that's what the red symbol there means. Um, I'm just gonna. I'll just sprint. Running. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. They seem vulnerable down there, um, so I'm just gonna keep. Got it covered. Clear, gathering up on this roof. A little bit of high ground, help with the cover. And I've got two layers of cover. I've got the deep cover and I've got the, the screen cover. So I should be able to use both of those. They can see onto the roof, so I'm probably going to end up mostly using the deep cover. As in this um, barrier made of like air conditioning. I like this, the, uh, the, this snake man. Um, The XO moving up. Got it, moving. Now, what's the point? These red markers indicate a person can see it. I can see that a person can see those squares. These are just a scanner. So that post will never move. As long as I'm, if I'm stood there, I'll always be safe. Step one square, I mean, you know, be seen. If someone moves into you so they can see you, it's not a problem as long as you don't move. That's that's something I figured out in the last run through. So it's a shame that <laughs> I'm not running with uh, as Putin. One of the few people I mean, I had him talking French because it was the nearest thing to Russian. Phonically, it's just there was just nothing that had that same kind of crunch to it. Off. 
still move up. I may as well move up to here. Because even if they um, come over, I'll remain in cover. Oh, so quite conveniently, they've, they've walked away, scattered some pigeons. Still stayed really clustered, like one grenade will drop right on those guys. They're still covering that part of the wall. I'm going to move up as close as I can. Just want to get as effective an ambush as possible. Moving. Moving to designated coordinates. Everyone has the same equipment, there's no there's no favoritism, everyone's just as good as each other. Confirmed. So there's no reason to he can still shoot from there. Moving so I am definitely gonna position. fill up this second second row. Confirmed. Order's confirmed, on the move. Now can the nearest person get a grenade over there? Because that is seems like it'd be the best way to start. I can pick three of them. That's that might do. Um, the least time I waste. Position confirmed. The less chance I am getting ugly surprises. In movimento. Okay. So, Clint Eastwood, ready to open up with the grenade. I may as well just put um, people in you know, Overwatch. Overwatch concealed seems to be they won't jump out unless they actually get exposed. It doesn't matter in this context because I am still going to throw a grenade. So I am definitely going to expose myself. But um, I suppose it's good to have the option to wait until things go badly. Right, so I'm just going to press the tab to check if anyone else is ready to move. Nope. So if I move a flashbang, they'll all be still all be. But if I can hit three of them with an actual grenade, I don't know, it, it disorientates them. Hmm. It just seems like the smart move, even though I'm only hitting three of them. So yeah, this is why it does, but cuts in time. So while I'm not concealed anymore, I don't have a line of sight on to me. I heard noise over here. So this seems like good cover to jump into. So I'm gonna try and spread out in this set of. Oh really? The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Okay, they jumped on that car, and one of them's completely in the open. Um, he's jumped over there. Probably gonna be harder to handle. Gonna try and space people a bit. People stood here don't seem to be able to get a shot. Just gonna have to try it. I'll try it with someone further back. So if I'm stood here, can Vladimir Putin get off a shot? No, he can't. Alright. I guess he could be the grenadier. What's over there? No. Whatever you say. Understood. Move it out. On the move. I'm going to keep this guy head back in case I actually want to run for some attack. So. Can I cook both of them with one grenade? So let's throw it to the camera. Well, I can. Whoa! 
So the explosion of the car, along with the grenade, finish both of them off. I mean, no equipment, probably, but... Can a grenade even reach over there? What kind of cover is he in? 35%. What cover does he have? He has... Actually, 25 versus... He's only moved. He has 30. So these guys are better at the shot angle. These guys are worse angles. He's better with the best trophy grenade. Also, he's closer. This is for you. Hey, thank you. This is this is for him. Yeah, I probably made the right choice holding someone back to get the tech. Let's see if I can finish him off with the remainder. Now, this shouldn't be a kill. Yeah, armor's holding up. Oh, let's not get fancy. This is for you. I'm shredding one of his armor. All right. Only winged him. Really? Uh, okay, eighty-three percent. Of course, it missed. I'm going to move up close, and let's see where the best place, the best blue is for getting a shot off and mech. This cover. Not a problem. That way she'll still be able to get the tech before it expires. I'm not taking any risks. This is for you. Ah, there was going to be some loot, but I blew it up. have to run for the second one. It's exposed, but I guess I'll run for the first one with the nearest person. Who can the furthest away person who can make it. You can just Oh he could have got you could have gone into cover. I can stand anywhere in that square. Okay, that was a misunderstanding my on my part. I'll take a scope. I got your stuff here. More bullets, more bullets means more backer. Right, so the front of the shops. Went okay actually, yeah. Not blowing anything up, no no danger to the building. The car's finished burning, so that's a hazard away. Now there's still quite a lot of level up there, so I'm probably gonna try and make my way from to this roof. Or this roof. I'll go with a higher one. Right. So if you say so. May as well keep full clips when I can. On the move. Now this mission has no time. Uh, now one of the things I, heard, I don't know about Excel Two, and one of the things I heard about Longwall is that the, the timers are present and, and relevant, and that the something to be watched. Might as well run up to that doorway. Have a look inside. Ready to go. 
Okay, so there's our first proper Zeno. Although they bear some resemblance to the sex toys first encountered during the invasion. I don't know. I'm shooting through a window? And another window? DNA. They are stronger than ever. With an even greater psionic potential. Of course, psionic potential just means to shoot them and they fall over. Hmm. Okay, well that window's through now. So it won't make any difference anyway, I suppose. There's cover here. I guess that'll be okay. Yeah, this guy doesn't like my orders. Right, I'll save him maybe as a maybe grenade grenade guy. Good cover. <clears throat> Mr. Movendo. Well, he's only got a flashbang, so I guess the best thing for him to do, for her to do, is take the shot. I got a piece. Gonna need to reload soon. Only has a flash. May as well be able to take the shot. It's not a good shot, but. May as well put the bullets down range. Come on, focus. Same with him. Roger that. Not going to be a good shot, but it's better than nothing. Okay, that did the work. Good riddance. Tired of waiting around. Gonna go with a sprint, gonna get close. And he actually has a frag, so he's definitely gonna sprint. Go? So the people that actually can land a shot, where do they go? He's in cover, I can go around it by going to this car. You missed. It's going. Oh, that was in the turn. Okay, that was a boo-boo. Okay, so... Yeah, he's he's looking pretty healthy. I, I guess I'll just... Bid him with a crash gr grenade. That should make it a bit harder for him to respond. At the end of my turn? Yes. Alright. So it was some civilians. Not that they're, not that they're close enough to matter grenade wise. I need to get someone up who can destroy that cover. Can he get in range with a grenade? Oh, he has, he has both. Okay. So if he gets as close as he can. Alright, okay, all or nothing. He's just gonna stand in the open, throw a grenade. That did not damage the cover. One post our grenade booth. Disorientated abilities restrictive already, so that's, that's still standing.
Oh, if I'm going all out, I may as well throw myself at him. I've already got one guy in the open. Thirty-six percent of the flashbang. I guess I can keep the flashbang going for longer. Let's move already. Seems doable. Gary Adams. Oh, got, got good attitude. I like that attitude. Okay, okay, this should be good. Now just finishing them off with bullets and I get to keep the money. I think. Vado in posizione. Let's see if I can finish the job. Nemico neutralizzato. Is that a clean sheet? Okay, a clean sheet. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I don't think I even got hit. So that's, yeah, flawless. No one wounded, no one killed. Um, six turns didn't feel as long. I mean, obviously the last, last time was a bit small. I was crawling across the map half the battle. Um, the start of the show, probably have to be Clint with his above average hit percentage. Move the furthest. Gary Adams. So the uh, you can see if this is I'm going to do one battle a day, um, not every day, but no more than one battle a day, and just make the long war tick over that bit longer. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully, um, if you want to submit any uh, any characters that will be used, um, put them in the comments below or in the in the thread link, and. Uh, May as well see who everyone is. The light up means you can shit stand still and shoot twice. And they actually have a few pow powers. Like this guy ends up with a son of shotgun, which is like a freebie. But it's a quick carry on there, not continue. Customization option. Shinobi means he's got a sword and he can do like a charge thing, which does extra damage. Phantom means if this squad is revealed, he still gets another ambush chance. So you can write a bit further, I suppose. Heavy weapons guy. Um, you get a rocket launcher and flamethrower thing. It's it's really just a rocket launcher. It's just a good way to break cover distance. That much I know. But we'll see how it actually works in the next one too. Grenade launcher. We know where we are with that. I've no, I've no experience using the hackers. I've hacked. The, the hack abilities so they can remotely hack. I don't, I don't know what the limits of that are, whether there's a play range, I'll just figure that one out. And Vladimir Putin, run and gun, he can take an action extra dash in. So he's going to be, uh, he can stun people. I don't know if you actually take live hostages in XCOM 2, I suppose you must do. And two more. So, yeah, this area suppression, this is my weapon style is to bring the largest weapons possible. And the sniper, so I've got a really rounded hollow target, so like a marking thing and can shoot when my friends can see. So, yeah. Came with a scope in a large clip. I'll probably be sticking the scope on the sniper and the large on the, um, on the HMG guy, but we'll see it's a bunch of bodies now Incoming transmission. i'm going to be looking at this stuff for a while figuring out what's possible and what research to do but um i'll make sure i update on that before at uh, the beginning of the next video